first of all, what does it take to be a division one college athlete? I mean, you know, people talk about this all the time, but you kind of touched on it in your tweet, but what does it really take for the people who might not know? It's, oh, it's kind of difficult to explain almost because I know, like, I'm only speaking from my own personal experience and, like, being around my teammates and, like, their experience and stuff like that. So other people's experience might be completely different, and that's totally okay. But for the most part, you really give up a lot, especially if you're going to go to school away from home. So I'm from Michigan, so I'm five and a half, six hours away from home. And basically, every single day that we are at school, we have something to do. Our weeks are completely planned, completely booked up. If we're not at practice, we're at weights. If we're not at weights, we're studying. If we're not studying, we're in class. If we're not in class, we're trying to catch up on sleep, eat food, rest, recover, all that type of stuff. But mostly what I think that people don't understand from an outsider's perspective is we're giving up so much time, so much time for family events we miss deaths in a family unfortunately we miss funerals for that um I've missed a bunch of um milestones in my sister's high school like experience that I wasn't able to be there for um we give up our social life I really don't have a social life like the friends that I have at school are my teammates I don't really know anybody else besides them and like a few other athletes that you run into I mean you you basically put your life on hold for a second and dedicate all this time to represent your school to play the sport that you love and I think that people take for granted like checking in on people and making sure everybody's okay because social media Uh, especially nowadays has like altered a lot of people's minds like I could post a picture and like I look so happy and like especially if I'm posting like a softball picture like everyone's like oh my gosh like she's so happy where she's at she's probably living her best life like all this stuff and nobody ever takes the time to check in and be like hey like I haven't talked to you in a minute just want to make sure that everything's going okay or people aren't necessarily very about it so I mean there's a lot that goes into it and it's it just really is so hard to explain because that that really is it like you just put your life on hold and you just go with what you're what you got like I get a schedule sent to me at the beginning of every week and that's that's how my week goes Yeah. And you don't really have any control. It feels like to a certain extent over what's going on. Yeah. No. And it's like, there, there are times, I mean, that I've had personally where I've wanted to go home. Like I want to go home so bad. Like I need like a mental reset. I need home. I want to see my parents. I want to see my family and I can't, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Like, it's just, that's what I, that, that's just how it is and that's why you need like a strong like group of people or just a couple close friends that like you can genuinely talk to or talking to a sports psychologist or a sports therapist or somebody outside of the sports world that can see from a different perspective usually works the best for me but I mean yeah like you're you're doing what you signed up to do like you don't have any control whether you can go home what happens in your life like you have you're committed to something and you have to stick to it and how much do you think social media has also impacted that I mean you know a lot of people obviously post only the good parts and and so that's all people see kind of as you said do you think that's made it almost worse in a way Yes. So I've actually taken a couple social media, like complete just break because there's so much that goes on other than everybody's just posting like the best parts of their life. Like, no, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody post. Like I'm really struggling right now. Like I'm going through it. I don't have my life together, you know, like I'm not all together. Like you never see that on social media. So it's like, you go on there and you see all these people who are at like 
bigger schools than you're at, or they're like doing a lot better than you're doing. And it's just like, now you're comparing yourself to these other people. But in reality, you don't even know what's actually going on. Like they could be going through something too, but nobody ever puts that out. So yeah, a hundred percent. I think that social media definitely makes it worse. And the fact that anybody and everybody can comment on anything that you post you don't even you couldn't even know them and they'll just throw their opinion out there like it's nothing and it's stuff that I mean people forget they'll kids in a sense like I'm only 21 years old and you know like social media just makes it 10 times 10 times worse 10 times worse for sure yeah when you do hear you know news news like what happened to Lauren and what's happened to these athletes I mean does it kind of stroke strike a chord with you because you know especially you know with Lauren because she was a softball player and stuff did that kind of sit differently with you yeah it sat differently with me also I am good friends with another girl on the JMU softball team who was really good friends with Lauren so it kind of like I didn't know Lauren personally but kind of like feeling for her through my own friend and like just the softball community in general like yeah it definitely hit like a nerve in my heart because it's like I I understand like what you were feeling I just wish that you had the opportunity to talk it out or like get help with whatever you needed help with and that like you knew that like you were so loved and so appreciated and you had so many people who would have been able to sit there and like talk with you because I feel like there's not like a huge light shined on the softball world which is totally okay but also our sport is like it's all mental which I think people completely forget about as well like it is so mental like you have to be mental tough because our sport is like 70, 80% failure. I mean, it's one against nine and, you know, it's just times get really, really tough, especially like in season and stuff. But yeah, it hit, it definitely hit a nerve with me just because I can relate from softball perspective of it. And, you know, like I've, I've definitely have had my, my dark moments playing college softball because you know, like it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time and being away from home makes it a lot harder, but just really having that like close group of people to be able to talk to really is a game changer. And it just hurts because like, I'm such an advocate for, you can come talk to me about anything, anything at all, whatever you need. I will always answer my phone. I will always drive to wherever you are, like whatever you need. All my friends know that. And I just wish that more people would put out there, like you are 110% not alone, like ever at all. Mm -hmm. And you kind of mentioned, in those dark times, you know, it, it does help to lean on the people around you. Is that, is that what you do? I mean, what do you do in those dark moments where you're having, you know, a bad day or who do you turn to, I guess? So usually the first people that I turn to are my parents. My parents are super supportive. Um, my mom specifically is super duper supportive really talk to her about anything but my roommates um all play on the softball team with me as well and you know it's just nice to be able to talk to people who can understand from the same perspective and be like yeah gee like I do feel you like I know I know that this sucks right now but like you have me I have you like we have each other like we're gonna get through this together like it's just in those times you do it is very helpful to lean on people that you're close to like your family and if you can't lean on your family you can lean on your friends and you can lean on your teammates and you could even lean on your coaches if you really need to but I mean that's that's really all that you can do I would say is lean on people and let people know that you know, I'm feeling this way and I'm seriously feeling this way because, you know, people throw around jokes about it sometimes and are like, you know, like 
oh my gosh, like I'm so depressed. Like I, I can't do this. Like la la la. And they'll just be like joking about it. So being able to like be vulnerable and like express your emotions wholeheartedly and a hundred percent, I feel like really helps to know that yeah, sometimes I joke about it, but right now I'm being so serious with you and I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a friend, you know what I mean? Like reaching out for help and letting people know that, you know, I'm not okay, but like, I need, I need help from you so I can be okay. So you know what I'm going through so that we can maybe like change the subject or go get a coffee or, you know, take just a mental break from sports and not talk about it and let's talk about something else to get your mind off of it yeah and you know you mentioned your friends with uh one of her friends over at jmu have have you gotten a chance to talk to her at all yet or so i texted her this morning and obviously she was way closer than i was to the girl so Um, I'm just giving her as much time as she needs. And she knows that, you know, she'll reach out to me when she's ready. I I know that for a fact. And um, I know that Emily has a lot of people that she can lean on during this time. And so does the whole JMU softball team. Like they have the whole softball world with them right now for anything that they need. But um, yeah, I know that she's going through it. So I'm going to give her her space and I'm going to let her process everything that she needs to. And I know that whenever she's emotionally ready to talk to me about it, if she even wants to, I'm here. And if she doesn't, we can talk about something else. But yeah, she she's she'll be OK for sure. Yeah, I think uh, it kind of helps too to have a closer. I feel like the softball world is kind of closer knit community because, like you said, you know, it doesn't get a whole lot of shine and stuff, which, you know, but that I feel like that does kind of make you guys closer. And I, you know, the outpouring that even I've seen on social media has been pretty incredible. So, um, and it's necessary for sure. So, yeah. We're all like a, a huge, just one big happy softball family. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again so much for taking the time. I was going to ask you too, like, you know, if maybe there's a college athlete out there who, who sees this, what's maybe the advice you could give to them, but you kind of nailed it on the head. I mean, just reaching out and being able to be vulnerable and you know, and I think that's something too, that athletes struggle with a lot because, you know, you're taught to be like aggressive and, you know, stuff like that. And so there has been kind of a stigma with mental health and all of that. Um, and I think slowly it's starting to get better. Um, but I like, really like what you said about, you know, willing to be vulnerable because I do think that's what athletes sometimes struggle with. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people like, there's a saying like, it's okay to not be okay. And I really think that people need to embody that because we're human, you know, like, and especially we're women, we have a lot of emotions and being a female athlete, exactly like you said, like we are basically trained to feel no pain. And, you know, like, we're going to persevere. We're going to persevere. We're going to persevere. We're going to persevere. We're going to push through. We're going to work hard. We got this. Like they're like, they're a lot of people think that, you know, like I can't show any moment of weakness because like, I have to be a strong woman. And I feel like it kind of sucks for other people at times because it makes us feel like we can't talk about it because people are going to be like, Oh, you're just weak minded. Well, no, I'm not weak-minded. I'm actually very mentally tough. And that's exactly why I'm telling you I need help because if I don't get help, who knows what's going to happen? So I really feel like people need to understand that being vulnerable and being emotional is not a bad thing at all. And I wish that people in this world had a little bit more empathy and were able to like put themselves in other people's shoes and really just from their perspective, but, you know, that's out of my hands, but (laughs) I would just say, like, it's okay to not be okay, and it really is, like, we're human, it's gonna happen, we're not robots, we don't just, you know, wake up, do this, do this, do this, and aren't allowed to feel some type of way about it, like, yes, I did sign up for this, but that doesn't mean that I have to be okay with 
the moments that it makes me feel this big, like, no, I'm going to ask for help. I'm going to reach out because I've been through that part in the beginning of my collegiate career and being able to be vulnerable and talk to people and get a different perspective has helped me in so many ways, so many ways. So I'm just trying to be that person that other people need for real. Well, you, you have a very big heart, I can tell. So they're, they're <laughs> very, they're very blessed over there to have you. <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah. And again, thank you for taking the time. I'm going to do like a short thing at six and I'll probably do like a longer thing um, for 11 o'clock and then I'll get it on the website and stuff and send it to you. I kind of want to put the whole, this whole raw interview on the website too, because yeah, I mean, you've just said so much good stuff. And I think that a lot of young college athletes out there need to hear it. So um, yeah, thank you for being a good voice. <laughs> so much for reaching out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Of course. Like I said, I'll, I'll get that to you uh, once it airs and everything. And thank you again. And good luck tomorrow. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Have a good rest of your night. You too. I'll see you. Okay. Bye. Bye.